So I am sick and tired of these crazy women trying to manipulate the public into convincing that I am some kind of horrible person, horrible father. I mean, this is just ridiculous. So I'm gonna adjust this this one time, and then I'm probably going to disappear from social media again for a while because I am focused on other things. And yes, I'm using a pink razor. It's on other things. Facebook doesn't pay like it used to. And I need to focus on my practice. So anyways, um, there is a rumor circulating around that there are nude photos of my girls, inappropriate stuff. They're twisting and manipulating all of this into trying to think that I'm a bad day. I'm a bad father, blah, 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 blah. These, these crazy, manipulative, lying, sexy shit. Um, so first off, let's just give a little timeline here. This stuff is posted to the internet on Father's Day, okay? Um, Nancy is like, call the police, call the police. They're like trying to, they're trying to instigate something that happened that happened. All right, so this stuff is posted on the internet on Father's Day, yeah? Okay, when did this incident occur? Back in September of last year, this particular person was a friend of my mother's and I and offered to help the kids, like, while she was in town, offered to watch the kids while I got some work done. I was with her the entire time, in the other room, and I instructed her to film any tantrums because I'm being constantly, constantly accused and made allegations of everything under, everything that you can think of under the sun. So this person was at my house last July, nearly a year ago. And of course, what does my ex do? She reports it to see, she reports it to child services and child services come over to my house. By telling that I told them exactly what I'm telling you, and nothing was done about it. Then, then the crazy cult reported it to the FBI, and um, I talked to the FBI, and they just they just called me to let me know that this report of child pornography was made, and I was like, well, what is it? And they're like, and they. They, they, they told me that there was nothing that constituted um, child pornography. Now, let me be very clear. I'm obviously very upset that somebody came into my house and, and, and shared it with somebody else, and then they shared it to Cora, my ex. And as a result of that, I can't trust this person to be in my home anymore, regardless if she's my mom's friend or not. Um, I don't blame her, because from what I understand, she sent it to one of her friends, and then her one of her friends, um, sent it to my ex. So, here's my question. Why are they making such a big deal about this on something that occurred a, week, a year ago, and has already been evaluated, and by two government agencies? Why? Because I have a restraining hearing coming, coming up, and they wanted to try to ruin my Father's Day. These manipulative clowns. <clears throat> it's a busy family, they're just a bunch of scammers. Scammers and manipulators. And Nancy says I have an elementary education. I have a doctorate, which is a much higher degree than you, as a nurse. So get your shit straight. And while you're out, it try to keep your husband from sleeping with other people. Anyways, so my ex has known about this video for a year now. And she's just now, after a year, trying to make a big deal about it. Why is she doing that? Because I put it because because she's trying to cover up from the fact that 
under her care of live video, my daughter's crotch for full frontal nudity was filmed on five separate occasions, which is exactly why I filed with the courts to take my kids offline to protect them from this kind of dumb stuff. You know, I'm so sick and tired of these crazy family trying to use the kids as a means to destroy my reputation and my mental health and ultimately trying to destroy my relationship with my daughter because I just will not let it happen. I have been actively trying to be peaceful with these lunatics for a long time and truly the only thing they care about is what people think about them on the internet. So Nancy, just keep running your mouth because there is case law here in California where children can be removed from the biological parent due to the family member's actions. So once again, you are proving that you're only in this for money. You're not supporting your sister. You're actually hurting her because every single word that you've said in the last week, I drove to the courthouse this morning and submitted it as evidence. And when I get into the hearing, I will present the case law that relates to your behavior and how it is detrimental to the children's mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical well-being. <clears throat> so keep running your mouth, nurse. Not that I look down on the nursing profession, but if you're going to talk crap about a doctor with a higher education than you, at least make it make sense. So I'm so sick of this stuff. You know, I have no choice but to defend myself publicly and tell the truth. Otherwise, you guys are just going to believe what these manipulative clowns and only give a shit about social media and will use kids as weapons in their arsenal to, to gain public favor. I will also mention that I have had a stellar crew of nannies and I've never once left the city while I watch a nanny, while a nanny watches my kids, which is something that she's done on several occasions. She gets the kids on Sunday, she leaves on Monday and leaves, leaves the kids with a stranger that doesn't speak English, and then refuses to give me the kids while she's out of town, which is technically illegal, because there is a law called right to first refusal. So, these, these diabolical sisters can't keep their freaking stories straight. They don't know how to lie. Not that I suggest anyone does lie. But damn. So I, obviously I've got them in a frazzle where they need to like, oh, let's come up with the next lie. Let's say he poisoned you with THC that led you to a cycloid. Oh, that sounds like a good one. We're in the boardroom of how to, how to destroy a man's life that is absolutely just trying to raise his kids in peace. Absolutely just trying to do what's best for them, protect them. And because I want to be a part of my kids' lives, and I have to sometimes protect them from the bad behavior that is on social media, and the tactics that go into making money on social media, I am somehow public enemy number one. I am a father. I am a father protecting his kids and nothing else. So, <clears throat> keep talking, Nancy. Keep talking. Because you're helping your, you are absolutely destroying your sister in a courtroom. There's this little thing called case laws. And there are many case laws of protecting kids from family members exactly like you, resulting in the biological parent losing custody of their kids because of the actions of a family member. So, keep going. I have no desire to be a single father doing this by myself. But damn, when's this shit gonna end? Obviously, I am the brand because they cannot. They cannot keep their views.